Hey guys, I'm Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is my daughter. Amoy. Hi. <laughs> and today we are going to be making a DIY bed frame. I think this is super good for small spaces because you can fit it to the size that you need. Yeah, so first we're gonna head over to Lowe's, which is really close to our house. We're gonna purchase all of the wood pieces that we need. We've measured the length and the width of the bed frame that we're going to build. And for a twin. For a twin bed. So yeah, we'll have for a twin all bed. the measurements that we used in the description down below. From so <laughs> once we get back from Lowe's, we will see you and then we'll begin to build the bed. All right, guys, so here we are at Lowe's exploring all the different types of wood that they have. We went with the cheapest two by fours that they have, which were around $3 and something cents per plank. And the cool thing about Lowe's is they give you five free cuts for free. And then after that, it's $1 per cut. So I think we spent around $4 um, for the cutting because everything else was free, which is a great plus and keeps your costs down. Here my kids are acting like a fool, like always, but hey, you can't take a low strip without having a little bit of fun, right? Or maybe some trouble. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Oops. And here we are, cashing out and then loading up the truck to take the wood home and build our bed. Yay! Hey guys, we're home now. We have all of our wood pieces, which are back there. My daughter is cleaning out her room, taking out her mattress and everything else. And then we're gonna go in there and we're going to build the bed. We're not using any instructions or anything like that. We're just winging it and hoping for the best. Um, but all of the wood pieces and measurements and instructions and everything else will be in the description box below if you want to recreate this super cute, easy, affordable twin bed frame. All right, guys, so I'm not the best at explaining things, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try my hardest. So here you can see I place the foot and the head planks down, and then I put the side plank on top. You can obviously see that the foot and the head planks are shorter than the side planks, and I will leave the exact measurements that we used in the description box below. We were also deliberating, oh wait, my daughter wanted to get a thumbnail picture. She's a way better YouTuber than I. Um, so we were trying to figure out the best way to secure the foot and the head onto the sides and we decided if we put the foot and the head planks on top of the side planks, it would be easier to drill in the holes and then screw them in. So that's what we did. We drilled a hole on all four corners and then we screwed in our three inch screws into the four corners to make it very secure and sturdy then we flipped it over do, 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 flipping it over and then we're going to do the same by placing the foot and the head planks on top to create a sturdy box and here my daughter is drilling in the holes on all four corners and then we're going to do the exact same thing by screwing in our three inch screws into the corner of the frame that we're building and yeah we're feeling pretty accomplished at this point one thing that did kept keep happening was our drill bit kept getting stuck into the planks so hopefully this doesn't happen to you and then we brought in all of our other shorter planks to create sort of like slats um, we didn't use exact measurements here we did eyeball it um, just so you know the mattress has somewhere to sit and you're not falling through it and then you're going to do the exact same thing by drilling in holes on the edges and then you're going to take your three inch screws and screw those in and it's pretty easy guys done mama on the bottom and then these are just slats 
that the mattress is going to lay on. We don't have a box spring, so hopefully um, we do have two mattresses though, so we're going to put the two mattresses on top and hopefully this works. So far we're pretty pleased with it. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Honestly, it took us no more than 30, 30 minutes, minutes to put together. Super, super easy. The cost was really, really low. I'll let you know how much we spent on it at the end of the video. So now we're going to put everything together and see how it looks. we've made it looks super super cute and now we're actually gonna attach the DIY headboard that we made in this video right here you can see it uh, we actually got some new command strips because the strips that we bought before were not actually strong enough so we're gonna attach these to the headboard and then we're gonna put it against the wall and you guys will see what it looks like <music> to do as a family the best part about it is when you create or when you make build your own bed you can decide how long or short you want it so for a small space like my daughter's room um, this was a really great solution for us because it is such a short space we just went to Lowe's you might you could go to Home Depot or whatever is closer to you and we just got them to cut it to the exact length that we needed it to be so it was so, really really easy yeah. it was in like all you've got to do is just like, we basically made the exact same length as my mattress and same width. Yeah, yeah. So it was basically just making a mattress out of wood. It, it was, it was <laughs> super, super easy, guys. We do not really have, uh, we don't really have a handy bone in our body. And if we can do this, can you can totally <laughs> do it. Should we tell them how much we spent on the bed? Yeah. How much did they Yeah. So we spent... Is it? Yeah. Okay, so we spent around $35. Not around. We did. We spent okay. $35. So we spent $35 on the wood. Yep. Um, and then was we that did. included with the screws? No. So we spent $35 on the wood, yeah. and then we did spend around $6, $6 on 25, 25 screws. Three inch screws. 25. But we'll put all that in the description box below. And. Yeah, it was super, super the fun. The wood is literally, like, so it's much so cheaper. It's so cute. It's literally, like, $3 for, like, a plank of wood. It was. And if you, obviously, if you wanted to change the color of it, you can get some spray stain, paint and spray uh, it. Or, oh, you can stain it. Or you could stain, stain it. it. <laughs> I, I really like the natural look of the wood. Yeah. I think it goes really well with your room. I really like it. And to be honest, she's probably just going to cover it up with a blanket anyway. But what I really love is it elevates it off the floor. Yes. Um, it feels really, really secure. It is secure. Like, I don't feel like you're going to fall through it. And even either. if you do, you're not falling that far. Yeah. I probably won't even notice when I'm sleeping. So. No. And um, the headboard looks super, super cute. We had so much fun making both of yeah. these things. And they're really fun bonding activities, too. Yeah. It was super, super cute. I feel really accomplished. I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, Subscribe. and turn the bell notifications on so you can get a notification every single time my mama posts a video. And <laughs> share it with your friends. Bye! Bye! <laughs>